Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've just realised this is the first time I can like properly vlog in here without spoiling anything because this should be Vlogmas day one. I am so looking forward to today. We're getting some really good things ticked off our list today. Number one is a really boring one, but we need to get up onto the roof because there is something like rattling around on the roof and I honestly have not slept if I can't form sentences more than usual in this vlog it's because I actually haven't I can't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep there's something like attached to our chimney that is rattling I honestly am gonna go insane soon so my eyes I've done I need to adjust my eye makeup because one looks different to the other and it's really annoying me my makeup in general is annoying today I actually have like a mask on on my face you can wear this like spot mask underneath makeup but with the makeup that I've put on, I do have like a little patch. So we're just gonna ignore me today. Anyway, today, the exciting thing today that isn't like trying to take my roof apart, the exciting thing is I'm putting my Christmas trees up and I'm so nervous because I haven't decorated a tree. Like I'm very routine with my tree. This year, if you've watched my previous vlog where I've done like a full, now let's just open the door. My last vlog, which was me showing you all the decorations that I bought. And it was just kind of like a general life catch up. I will link it if you haven't seen it because there's quite a few details on like where all of my new decorations are from in that video one of the things i talked about in that vlog was that i have two christmas trees this year and one of them i think is going to be more of my standard style and then i'm going to try something a little bit different with the newer one which is going to go in my living room it's taller the living room in the new house is a very different vibe to what i feel like i've done in the past so i am really excited but also very nervous because i have become such a creature of habit with my tree so yeah it could go wrong and we could end up with two of the same tree in two different rooms in the house and i would be okay with that to be honest but we'll see how we go so really excited to put the living room together also just so happy at the moment because i I have cleared my kitchen finally after all of the works were done and there was so much cardboard left over from all of the office bits and pieces and it's finally like completely clear. It looks like it did almost bar the Christmas tree boxes. It looks like it did when I moved in and honestly I have not seen it that clear. I was like I have skirting boards in here? Wow. So feeling really good. The house is feeling very very organised and it just feels lovely to be putting my trees up and like doing all of this in a lovely organised home. So yeah I've spent the best part of the past week prepping for today. I was actually meant to do it like two days ago but it kept getting pushed back and pushed back. Things have been so busy in the run-up to Black Friday which is my least favourite time of the year. So yeah, it's been a busy week. I've not slept. I'm delirious, but I'm really looking forward to today and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So I'm going to get started by eating some pancakes because Ryan's actually decided that he fancies pancakes and he's currently in the kitchen, which is really the perfect start for Saturday. So yeah, I've just finished putting my makeup on. I will show you my outfit, but I'm wearing this dress from And Other Stories, which I just love. And yeah, I did my makeup today. Like I said, I've been going back to like my old-ish kind of like makeup routine and I just absolutely love it. So yeah. That is what we are up to today. Also, I thought I'd give you a shelfy update because I've slowly started tweaking little bits on my shelves. We have the new architectural, I think it's new-ish this year, I think, I wanna say, the new Architectural Digest book. I've swapped some of the bits that were in here around. We had that pot up there before. I've just switched them around in terms of like, the heights i think it looks a lot better i've taken the diffuser that was up there off because i've got a different diffuser in here now and yeah i've got some storage boxes down here that have arrived which is great i need to buy some more actually for that side but i'll do that once i actually have things to put in it but i definitely want to like even them out but i'm not in any rush to just like fill the space because i think it's so lovely to have room to grow into i am aware i have a lot of stuff so it is nice to have some storage space that i can grow into so yeah really really happy with how this is looking there's a lot of candles which i'm not loving so much but i've just kind of thrown them up there for now still so happy with this room i haven't actually put the reveal up yet at the time of filming this so i don't know if you guys liked it or not but hopefully you did go get the pancakes get the pancakes get the pancakes hello hello how is it going we're well, good i believe yeah, yeah. Ooh. chef ryan at it again again you've got so many titles diy rye this chef ryan the only place I appear in the Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking I was getting deja vu from last weekend when we were cooking a roast. Mmm, roast. Anyway. Ooh. You are good. My pancakes never look like that.
it has been a day a successful day but my god i think it's like five six o'clock it's been a long time since i last spoke to you i don't know why i bothered putting on makeup for basically standing outside and supervising the giant i don't even know what to call it the giant aerial that was like completely unnecessary like i kid you not maybe like seven eight foot tall on top of my house supervising that coming down i'm not getting on the roof that would be a terrible idea and then also we clean the gutters so a really riveting start to vlogmas day one i know but I'm about to pour myself a large glass of wine <laughs> and get started with Christmas tree number one. So this is my living room. If you are not familiar with it, are you new here? I'm assuming so. But yeah, where the orange tree is, the orange tree is dying because it had a pest infestation. I sprayed it and it did not go well. But anyway, the orange tree is gonna be moved, I think either to the kitchen or greenhouse, and then that will make space for the Christmas tree. And then I also need to decide what I'm doing with like the chair and the bench and kind of have a little bit of a rejig in here. It's gonna be interesting. It's my first Christmas here, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is my 7.5 foot pre-lit white company Christmas tree. We also have the white company skirt as well. I've never had one of these before, but I am looking forward to seeing how that goes because I'm putting my tree up obviously a lot earlier this year. So it will be nice to not be able to see the bottom of the tree. And then we have, we have a lovely wreath up here, which I made in like a Zoom masterclass. So yeah, that's really lovely. It basically, let's move this. When you're in the hallway, it just looks really lovely. But anyway, in the kitchen, we have a lot of boxes of Christmas decorations. I'm very much looking forward to having my stockings on the fireplace. Then in here we have my standard like six foot white company tree and I'm going to put that here, I think. So if I just step back and show you, I think it will fit really beautifully in that corner and it will really help to like brighten up the space in here. It also needs to do the outside decorations, but I actually don't think I'm gonna do those until December. So I feel like that's over it, just, just a tiny bit. So this rosé, I think someone bought it for me for my birthday. It will not focus, but oh my God, it is so lovely. Such a nice rosé. I thought I'd give that a try. I have my fave Whispering Angel in the fridge, but yeah, this is amazing. I think I will need to buy more of this. just realized that I'm not doing this right. I have been doing this all wrong. Here we go. If anyone wants my Christmas playlist, I will see if I can link it. You are so cute. Back in your usual station. I haven't left. <laughs> I just keep him here. Makeup is off. I have a fresh face, glass of rose, fresh pajamas, 
These are from Intimacy Me and I just love them. They are like the most Christmassy pajamas. I really wasn't sure whether to save these for Christmas day or wear them throughout Christmas and Ryan's just convinced me that I should just wear them. So yeah, feeling good. We have one tree up. Obviously it was pre-lit. I've got another one to do and put all the lights on. So I think this is probably gonna continue to tomorrow. And to be honest, it's probably for the best because I don't think I should be putting baubles on any trees under the influence of wine. I just don't think drunk Christmas tree decorating is for me, but look at it it's it's huge it is huge but i'm so happy with how it's all coming together oh it looks so beautiful the pre-lit christmas tree life is for me i've got to say it's the perfect tree in terms of like the lighting it's just stunning i'm so happy with this the quality of it also feels a lot better than the white company one but obviously i bought my white company one that's in the kitchen about four years ago so they've obviously updated them since but it feels amazing like i'm just so happy with it we still have a long way to go in here it's gonna be a long night Lovely in your Christmas jumper. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> she gets some silk pajamas. <laughs> Imagine. I wonder if they do that. ready it's born ready always ready always ready so this is my box of mostly old decorations as you can see there's lots of like silver it's very like art deco in here which i've only just realized having like stared at the new decorations for so long it's a very different vibe but yeah we're gonna give this a go i think this tree is mostly gonna be silver kind of glitzy decorations and then the living room will be more of these I really need to crack the new vlogging camera out. This focus is awful. Be right back. Christmas tree number one done. I really struggled this year. I feel like I've forgotten how to decorate a Christmas tree, but yeah, I think this is pretty much how it has always looked every year. Minus there's just like a few tiny acorns, which I haven't added on in case I need them for the bigger tree. But I think at night this is gonna look lovely and much more like how it should look. I currently only have one star, so this one is missing a star at the moment. I'm gonna see if the star fits on the other tree, but it might be too close to the ceiling, so this one might have a star, the other one might not, I'm not sure. But the Christmas tree, as a lot of you will know, is from White Company, and the Christmas decorations are quite an assortment. I've got, this one is from Next. All of the little hearts, I believe, are old White Company as are the stars. I think I got them when I did some work with them a few years back. The reindeers and the silver hearts are from Home Sense. They came in a pack, Home Sense. Christmas decorations are the best. As are the candy canes, they were Home Sense as well. This giant bauble, I believe was Home Sense. I did a lot of Christmas themed work a few years back. I think it was like 2017. I worked with the White Company and Home Sense. So this Christmas tree is pretty much all of that. Just in terms of full disclosure, these are by Decorous. These I got as a recent purchase from Haskins Garden Center. The little tiny acorns, they are also Home Sense, as are these little gray sparkly weird 
pear shaped things. This I believe is from Next. Lots of the like Art Deco-ish baubles. Actually, that's a home sense one. Uh, where's my other bauble? This one is from Next and this one is from Next as well. And this fluffy white one is the white company. I got those last year along with the little house that is also from the white company. So a very white company inspired Christmas tree. I love it. So we have done tree number one and we're gonna go on a dog walk now. I don't wanna decorate the Christmas tree until later, this Christmas tree until later I've decided. I'm gonna show you my outfit for the dog walk. So I am wearing this sleeping bag coat from Zara. I did a poll and I asked you guys what you thought of it on Instagram. I was like, rate it or hate it. And lots of people, every time I do a poll, lots of people are like, I clicked the wrong button. So I really can't tell if anyone actually likes or dislikes something, but I'd already bought the coat so I didn't mind. I bought it just to literally see what it was like, see how I feel about the full-on sleeping bag coat, sleeping bag coat vibe, does that make sense? I actually really wanted this in black when it originally came out. It's now available in what looks like silver on camera, but to me, it's actually like a sage green. I don't know if I love that. I don't know if that's a color that particularly suits me, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. It's quite like a practical, coat and as you guys know i'm loving the practical vibes in 2020 what has happened to me i don't even know i'm wearing it with an all saints scarf i really like the combination of this kind of texture and then the monogrammed monogrammed scarf and then i've got a zara high neck kind of like corset effect ribbed top on it's like long sleeve you'll probably see it later in full and then my jeans are Topshop Sydney jeans I've been looking for them for ages and finally found them and then my boots are also from Zara I wasn't sure whether to wear them but I'm just going to wear them and clean them after if they get muddy and just deal with it but yeah that's today's dog walking chic kind of outfit do we rate it or hate it let me know Nala, you're just so nicely today she's got a cream roll neck and a little quilted jacket just like me <laughs> this is my new like lockdown obsession is basically dressing nala so funny story a lovely little old lady just said oh you're lovely aren't you to me and ryan we both look at the dog like yeah she is isn't she and she's like darling i'm talking about you and me and Ryan are both like... She was talking about me. What? Ah, it's a weird vibe! Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> we were both very confused as to why she wasn't complimenting. Oh, what is this vibe? <laughs> why am I being attacked? We were both very confused as to why I was being complimented and Nala wasn't. It was funny when we both looked down at Nala yeah. and like, yeah. And then we look back up and she was like, not the dog. Not you, not the dog, you. So we are back from our dog walk. I have changed. I'm just sorting out some bits that have just arrived and I can't with this item. I think it's gonna be in the next vlog just cause I don't know if I'll have time to talk you through this order in this video. I just wanted to show you a little sneak peek look at these straps. I am so excited about this item of clothing. I'm kind of starting to think about Christmas and just what I wanna wear and oh this is just beautiful so yeah i will talk you through this order in the next video but i can't wait i honestly can't wait but until then today i need to get back to decorating my trees i am wondering when is an appropriate time to open the wine like do i have to wait for the sun to go down it's still daylight i'll show you what i'm wearing because i'm in the coziest comfiest outfit so i'm wearing my thermal top and then my h&m leggings and these slippers from the white company and then my I think this is pretty little thing or misguided long cardigan i am so cozy so cozy right now oh, the stockings in the background are literally everything they're making me so happy okay have wine have a tree have my decorations prepped
so the tree is done however spanner in the works that bauble i broke earlier there was a tiny 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 fragment of it left like way across the room i thought i got everywhere i did not because apparently now a tiny bit tiny 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 bit that i can't get out is in my foot we're looking lovely in here lovely lovely I am gonna show you quickly, I'm gonna quickly whiz around the room, show you the kitchen as well, and I'll show you again tomorrow morning so you can see it in daylight, but I am gonna have to go and have a hot bath, finish my glass of wine, and uh, pray that this tiny fragment of glass exits my foot very quickly. So this is how we are looking. I, I just love all of this, it's making me so happy. I have to say that the addition of a tree skirt, which I've never had before, was one of the best decisions that I have made for Christmas 2020. I'm very, very happy with this. It just makes it look so neat and really like perfects the whole look. And I think especially because the tree is so big this year and such a statement and really like fills that space that it just really helps to kind of like tie it off. And honestly, the amount of lights on this tree, definitely like when you think about a pre-lit tree, I just kind of thought, oh yeah, we'll have the lights on it. But I didn't expect there to be this many. So I'm very happy with the kind of cost of it, the amount of lights and the fact that I will never have to take this many lights on and off because if I had to take them on and off, I would just never put this many lights on a tree. It just looks so cute, so warm and cozy. I love it. And quite frankly, I am amazed, if I'm honest, that we managed to get a star on the top. I mean, just. I didn't really consider that when I was measuring the tree. I will openly admit to that. I did not consider that. I'll talk you through decorations tomorrow when you can kind of see them properly. But there's some I did myself and I think the rest are from like the garden center and Amazon. So I'll talk you through this tomorrow, but oh, I'm so happy with how it's come out. This is how the kitchen is looking. Let's just get a bit of mood lighting in there. There we go. So I've got my wreath on the door that I made and then it opens up to this. Might have to get a tree skirt for in here as well because it does just perfect the tree so, so nicely. Yeah, this is kind of everything that I've already done in a Christmas tree. So it feels really nice to have something old but also something new this year. It's looking so lovely. And these are a really nice addition. I think these were the new addition to this tree this year. Yeah, I'll show you this in the morning. Honestly, I think this one looks its best kind of just as the sun is setting in this room, that's when it really comes into its own. It's just so lovely to look out across the island and see that. Literally makes this room a hundred times cozier. Good morning everybody. For update, still in a lot of pain. Not sure if the glass has made its way back out my foot or not, but I'm able to walk on my foot today just about without like squealing and pain constantly. So every cloud, you know, all of that stuff. Anyway, I've come in here to assess the tree this morning. It is because I've gone for more neutrals. It is looking a little bit bare. Anyway, I ordered some like dried orange pieces to kind of like hang on the tree. I thought it would give it like a nice scent for one, a little bit of like color a nice neutral it's something natural which i think would work really really nicely on the tree so hopefully that will help to kind of like bring a bit more life to it during the day because at night it looks incredible but it is just looking a little bit like it's in need of an extra something during the day we have these little like hessian bows that are well the bigger ones i made myself i just got hessian ribbon and tied it into a bow and then we have these tiny little ones which are so cute which i ordered off of amazon i got like pretty much all of the hessian stuff off of amazon but these come pre like tied they're very very cute and i to be honest i could have done like a bigger one like this you just kind of use a bit of thread to tie it in the middle i might attempt that i had a really big bit of hessian i might attempt that and go for like a big one kind of like in the middle not here because obviously there's two either side but yeah i tied these myself and then we have all of these little pine cones that have kind of like a gold effect over them, which is nice because when the light hits them, it kind of like shines. It's better than just having like a plain pine cone. But these ones I got off of Amazon and to be honest, they were a nightmare because they're kind of like glued in, like the string is glued in, which is great and everything, but the string comes out of the glue so quickly and so easily. So I did have to retie a lot of the pine cones myself. We then have the last remaining literal thorn in my side slash my foot this is the second of the one that i broke yeah i have kept it quite low on the tree in case it falls because they shatter apparently 
which is great. These baubles I am loving. They work so nicely on the tree, I think. I've actually seen some like pampas grass type ones. So I'm gonna look into that and maybe add a few more onto this tree. It's so big, I feel like it can take the extra decorations. Like the back part of it is a lot more bare because I've obviously had to focus much more on the parts that you can see. So I think I can get away with a few more. This area is kind of like my favorite bit to look at aesthetically. I think it's like the best view of the tree. These I'm so happy with and they're very practical as well because I've dropped them a number of times and no breakages. I think the majority of these decorations I haven't mentioned were in my Christmas decoration come shopping with me vlog type thing that I did. And then the star. The star which is the reason that I have a piece of glass in my foot because I stupidly took my slippers off it is literally touching the ceiling. I'm probably gonna have to repaint that spot on the ceiling but yeah at least that star's staying upright because I have actually never been able to put that star up because it has just never it just kind of like flops but the ceiling is helping to support it and keep it upright so yeah that is the tree. I'm actually very happy with it. Yeah I like my Christmas trees to look kind of rustic, home done, not too glam and not too perfect. I love a glam perfect Christmas tree, but there is something like, I like the juxtaposition of like a really big grand Christmas tree and then it just looks very kind of homemade, but in a really lovely way. There we go. I am literally pressed up against my hallway wall and we can just about get the tree in the shot. It is just, it's beautiful. Now to try and film a ton of videos without revealing the tree too early. Wish me luck. So my orange cloves have arrived. I've still got a few more to put on around the sides. This is kind of how it is looking. So as you can see, we have some here, here, here. It's like the Where's Wally of dried orange pieces. We've got one up there and one up there. I think it's really helping to finish off the tree nicely. I do think maybe a couple more baubles, maybe, but things are slowly starting to come together and it's definitely looking a little bit more, you know, done. So I will update you on any new additions as they come in. So finished this morning's work. I'm now sitting down to have some lunch. I've got some soup that I kind of like pre, what do you call it? Like food prepped, meal prepped with some stuffing balls. I'm just obsessed with stuffing balls. And I also have put some cheese on the top because I just love cheese. If you're one of those people that puts cheese on everything, then we're already friends. This is one of my favorites. It's a vegan cheese. So if you hear me say cheese, sausages, I don't know, bacon, like any kind of like meat or like even dairy kind of like name throughout Vlogmas. I mean the vegan version, but I'm just lazy and I won't say like fake meat because CBA. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down and have this and then I need to finish off today's video and all of the prep for that, upload it and then go out and get stuff for dinner. I'm thinking I really fancy like chili and a jacket potato tonight, but we'll see what the shops have. We'll see how I feel after lunch as well because I think I always get really ambitious when I'm hungry. on here. It's a giant marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot. Mm. I have a Bailey's hot chocolate at 11 in the morning. <laughs> they were really judging me. Wild. Yeah, it's five o'clock somewhere. Hello, so I've just been informed that I have not ended Vlogmas part one. I'm gonna say part one because it was definitely over multiple days. So I thought I would come on here and say goodbye. I hope you've all enjoyed this first vlog of Vlogmas and I will see you guys again in a couple of days for a new Vlogmas. And if you like ASOS, you're gonna wanna watch. And that's all I'm saying. Still a vlog though, so those of you that like the vlogs, 
still watch it's literally vlogs here on out from here until christmas so yeah i'll see you guys again on what will the date be i will see you guys again on thursday love you bye